what is the favorite process mining algorithm of the prom people? It's the inductive miner. Let's see if it passes our test. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is about my process mining toolbox. The inductive miner produces a Petri net that is a workflow net having the soundness property. This is very nice, but will it pass our test? Let's see. So what does the inductive miner do with our travel booking process? Let's have a look here. Um, so we can see that, you know, it starts with travel request, refining the request, and then we have these three offer tasks here. That's all very fine. Um, we may approve the offer or not. Um, there may be cancel requests, so this is not 100% accurate, but it's, you know, more or less okay. And we have pay the trip and book the trip or decline offer. So, you know, it looks quite well, it looks quite nice, and um, I would say it's okay. Um, then let's look at the recruiting process. The recruiting process, um, yeah, we have this pick candidates and list candidates at the end. That seems to be okay. And um, if we look at this inside, and remember this is multiple instance, so we have a lot of phone live interview, final approve going on in different orders. Um, we have them here, phone interview, live interview, rejected um, or none of them at all and we have a final approve here so this is not a hundred percent exact but i would say it's more or less okay um, the next one is the procure to pay um, example the inductive miner finds a very long sequence uh, you know which is due to the fact that we have these two sub-processes here, and so the whole sequence is very long. And let's just zoom in uh, some of the parts. For example, here we have this ask for attention, which is here. So I think, you know, in two cases it, it came back, and, and that seems to be what has really happened in the log. So I think we can really be happy with the solution. So I would say, yes, this is a good um, process model for this. Um, and now um, let's look at the last one um, where we create and edit the report. Um, this is interesting because it starts with create report and ends with publish report. This is correct. But if you look at um, what's happening inside, you can see that one of the constraints is not fulfilled. And this is that we always need to have check report before the report is published. And in our PetriNet that is discovered here, we can do edit report and then directly publish the report. So the precision here is not so good. I would definitely recommend the inductive miner. It's also very nice for animating the log. There will be more algorithms in the next videos. See you soon.